Lib lawyer goes public on Hillary cheating in presidential election. In an interview with Breitbart, Jared Beck of Beck and Lee trial lawyers, the lawyer who is representing Bernie Sanders supporters in a class action lawsuit against the DNC, alleged that the committee's actions were the, quote, ultimate Ponzi scheme and expects to find much more evidence of the DNC's misconduct in handing Hillary Clinton the nomination. During the interview, Beck said the suit rested on common law principles of misrepresentation and fraud. If there is anything new, it is the application of these principles to the sphere of political campaigns, he said. One might view this application as a natural consequence of uh, Citizens United, an opinion that crystallizes campaign contributions as the quintessential form of American polit uh, political participation. By equating political participation with financial contribution, Citizens United, by inference, incorporates all of the common law principles of fraud, negligent misre misrepresentation, etc. That typically govern in the economic sphere. Americans have a cognizable interest in the transparent and fair conduct of primary campaigns precisely because they through their campaign contributions, are also financiers of the campaign. Beck also shared some rather harsh words regarding the DNC's methods during the interview. I would think of this as a case against the ultimate political Ponzi scheme, he said, of the committee's actions. We are used to the concept of Ponzi schemes in the investment world. In my view, the DNC is really no different. It was purporting to be selling, quote, a fair primary process, but in reality was serving as a front for the Hillary Clinton campaign. People lost well over $200 million as a result, that's a lot of money. Beck also mentioned a very mysterious phone call received from a number found to be tied to former DNC head Debbie Wasserman Schultz. According to the Daily Caller, the person on the other end of the line inquired about the case while using voice disguising software. The incident was startling at the time it happened, and we are still very puzzled and concerned about it, Beck said. The caller had altered his or her voice to be unrecognizable and refused to identify themselves. But please understand that this is just one in a number of disturbing events that have occurred throughout the case. I have no idea who was behind the call, but according to the defendants, the matter has been referred to the Capitol Police, he added. I'd like to know how far that's going to get, but let's wait and see. Beck seems confident that if the lawsuit moves forward, more evidence of the committee's misconduct would be exposed. If we do if we do get the discovery phase, I think it is safe to say that we expect to find much more evidence of the DNC's misconduct, with the publicly released material being only the tip of the iceberg, Beck said. If what Beck alleges is true, and if the suit moves forward and finds that the DNC's nomination process was in fact rigged, the Democratic Party will be reeling and practically toast for the 2018 midterms. Well, that's already a standard. We know that that's going to happen definitely. The amount time required, the amount of time, I guess, required to scramble around 
and unify the establishment and its base would be way too limited. I don't know about you, but I certainly can't wait to see what comes of this. But really, a lot of dirt is going to start coming out now. A lot of dirt, because we're hip to the fact that she's crooked. We're hip to that fact. So, we know everything was rigged when, when we're talking about Hillary Clinton. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.